Gamers are a special kind of breed. I mean, they're just built different, especially Sony fans or fanboys in general. Not even specifically tied to Sony, I'm just using them because, I don't know, those fans are like the Florida men of gaming news. You just can't help but ask what the fuck is going through their heads. Last year, whenever the hell Last of Us 2 was released, they were sending Naughty Dog developers death threats because they weren't too happy with Joel's form in his 1v1 against Abby in Miniature Golf. And it seems the message of threatening a person's life over a video game was received loud and clear because they've evolved and seemingly leveled up. They are now actually sending explicit pictures out of anger because I guess Sony, for whatever reason, decided to delay the announcement for official release date for God of War Ragnarok and that's caused uh, quite a commotion. And here's the thing, when I first saw this I thought it was fake and absolute BS myself, especially because I personally always hop on Twitter every now and again to see some shit posting or start a fight between two strangers on the internet that are more emotionally involved with what's going on and their made up 30 second beef than how they actually plan on getting the rent paid by next week. But it seems like this is actually 100% true. One of the devs from Santa Monica came out and announced they are indeed on the receiving end of a photography train, so to speak. And the man, Corey Barlog himself, had to come out and denounce this abhorrent behavior, fully addressing it in a tweet. I'll be honest, full transparency, when I first heard this, I did have a pretty good laugh. Not because I support this behavior, I don't. I fully agree with Corey. I think you should be way more respectful for the people involved in this industry that are breaking their back to provide the high quality of entertainment that they they all do especially in this industry you know not to say that Santa Monica is specifically dealing with this but a lot of game developers are exposed to crunch and are probably working under an immense amount of pressure not just from reaching the deadlines but ensuring that the game is out on time and of a high quality that ensures that the game is both playable and is excellent to the fans you know I'm sure every single developer that works on whatever project that they're trying to get out on time is everything and hopefully more than what the fans want and expect out of that game and with God of War Ragnarok being potentially potentially one of the biggest launches this year, I'm sure that high standard and incredible quality from storytelling, graphics, gameplay, everything in this game is going to be scrutinized and expected to be bigger, better than what we got in 2018. And now the developers have to deal with this type of shit outside of work from the people that are potentially their, their pillars, their main support is nuts. I'd say the fact that they're even out in the public on Twitter or wherever else you can contact them is crazy to me. I think opening yourself up to the community, to the public, to any degree, is brave and shows them a level of confidence that they're more than happy to display and engage with their community. But now that's probably all going to change because you're over there getting dick pics because plans that have nothing to involve you changed and everyone became upset. I'm just saying specifically in this instance, on the flip side, just like everything else is fucked up in this world, it's funny and so it happens to you. And the idea is completely ridiculous to me. And to add to it, it's the fact that I wasn't just one person who did it. it sounds like multiple people engaged in this behavior. And my main question is, what's that conversation like? How do you convince a squad of homies that you probably never met in person to all send your medically undermatured bodies to someone? Basically holding their peace at mind as ransom in exchange for a release date. Well, you know, what's the thought process of that actually working? I'm pretty sure it's a defeatist mentality. You know, we can't do anything else. We're not going to get the release date for this game. So the most I can get out of this is flex and tell everyone I got a woman to see my pee pee. And then she blocked me and the cops were called. But we'll leave those details out. It's just unfortunate. You know, to the devs, if I highly doubt you're going to see this, but not even specifically to Santa Monica. Just, you know, I know the developers from Teclan are on Twitter. Simone Spectalo, who's a lead game designer, is pretty active. John, I, I don't even know how to pronounce his last name, who's like the head of multiplayer for 343 for Halo Infinite. They're all active on Twitter and they all communicate within their communities. And I love that. I applaud that. I think that's amazing. You know, even if they don't really have that much say, I mean, I'm sure they do, but there's got to be people from their publishers that have more of a say than them. Just the fact that they're willing and they're communicating with their community I think is phenomenal and I, I hope that people like this that are over here sending dick pics out of frustration and anger don't force developers to only interact with content creators or influencers because the general public doesn't know how to act properly or conduct themselves like decent human beings. Anyways, I just wanted to talk about this because it's just weird. I don't know why we're evolving to this state but we are. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, maybe consider subscribing for some more videos like this but it's the next time i'm gonna send a dick pic to phil spencer